Okay, here's how you turn the propane um, on and off for the camper. Um, this side right here, you see right real close there, it says supply. That's going to show which tank you're going to use. I think it's always best practice to leave one open and have one side open. So I'll just keep this tank on, like a barbecue tank, just unscrew it and then have it on this supply side, you'll see it's green. And that means that uh, the propane is on. Um, some people do where both tanks are kind of open, but I think it's best to just have one tank on and then whenever this runs out, you go ahead and close this, flip it to the other side and then turn on that tank. And then you'll have propane, uh, another, you know, um, 20 uh, pounds ready to go. And then you can fill up just one at a time. But um, as you probably already know, it's just best practice to drive with the propane completely off. Uh, just in case if there's any accidents, there's less chance of a fire. Um, once you get your propane on, you're... Uh, it, you're, it's best to purge the lines so propane it, you know gets into all the lines um, and the way you do that is easiest way to do that is to go ahead and turn on the stove you know and just light it with a, a match it might take a while because it takes a while for the propane to go through everything but always uh, purge you know through the stove first and then you can turn on the heater um, and it'll turn on a lot faster. Otherwise, the uh, um, the the automatic pilot light on the heater will keep going on and off, taking a while. Um, it likes to have propane already in there, so it's just a little little uh, step one, or I guess step one is open the valve. Step two is you know turn off the stove. Once you have good flame, you know go ahead and turn it off. Um, but you know shortly after that, the heater should turn on um, just. Um, as fast as it normally would at your house and it's thermostat controlled so obviously you want it to be higher than what the inside temperature is for it to even start turning on uh, so the heater has automatic pilot the water heater does not have an automatic pilot you would have to go ahead and best way to do it is get one of those long uh, Bic lighters and there's some instructions here on how to do it but you'd move it to pilot hold it down for a long time and it, it's just it's a uh, if you've ever lit a pilot you know it's just like any other um, hot water heater that requires a pilot um, you hold this for a long time and then while you keep holding it down you'll you'll stick your lighter up into here and you'll light it um, not not too terribly difficult uh, just not automatic and that's basically all the propane systems there is a couple of cookers that are stored in there one's a barbecue and one's a stove griddle there's a rack where it sticks onto here and then there's a little line that comes and hangs down um, you'll go ahead and uh, hook it into here just like any other air, air compressor fitting where you've got a quick connect you pull that back and pull that out sorry it's hard to do one-handed but you know just like a quick disconnect for air compressor and then here's the actual valve to, you know turn it on you, uh, you put it in line to turn on and always want it off um, you know perpendicular to the line here whenever you're traveling or not using it um, that's all the propane systems on this RV so hopefully this helps